Hey guys, today we're making sodium acetate from vinegar. It's a deceptively easy process. All you need is vinegar and baking soda. Plus the other stuff shown on the screen. The coffee filters can be replaced with regular paper towels. I just wanted to be fancy like all those other YouTubers. Plus the crystals can I like to stick up against the paper towel. So I'm starting off by adding 3 cups of vinegar to a small saucepan. I double the recipe posted to get more product since I kinda need to do a demo for you guys. Then I follow this up with 2.5 tablespoons of baking soda. Make sure you add it slowly since it bubbles up a lot. Like, it could bubble up a real lot. After the additions, we're just gonna let it react out until normal baking soda or bubbles are present. Now we're gonna boil it at high heat to dry off the water. It will take a little while depending on how much liquid you have, generally maybe around 5 minutes. Just when it's really boiling down, turn on the heat or else your product is gonna stick to the bottom of the pot and we don't want to damage our parents' pots now, do we? So you know, do as they say and not as they do, because I messed up and it's hard stuck, just like me and I am. This took forever to get out and you're gonna watch me struggle. Why? Because I said so. And I'm the one editing this video. Secret footage of me screaming for good grades in SciTech. <laughs> Um, do this with a wooden or a bamboo spatula or you're 100% gonna damage your pot. Does this speak entertainment here guys? <sighs> Why did I do this to myself? We're done with that, we can get the purifying our powder. Let's also by adding cold of an alcohol to our nice white powder and mix it around. I use cold since it kind of dissolves some of the stuff, since you know it has water in it, you know, sodium acetate, so we dissolve in water. Yeah. Then I'm going to strain it in my lovely little filtration setup. I try to pleat up my filter paper, but do whatever works. You can use a rubber band to secure the paper. You can use an actual filter funnel, like those things that you strain your stuff into like real narrow. You know what I'm talking about. Once it works, just use it. So I leave this to gravity filtrate overnight. I wish I'd have vacuum so it go faster. Anyways, very professional transition and the stuff looks discolored. But that's okay, we'll deal with it soon. This is the result of my labor. And now to get all these impurities, I'm gonna recrystallize it using hot water. I uh, added too much here. You're supposed to aim for the minimal amount. And uh, I added too much. I thought I could be smart and blow up the excess water with my blow dryer. And not because I'm lazy to go outside. But I go to pour it, 
I put my nice crystals on the side to see the thing, and what do you know? Nothing. So I do it again, but this time I put it in the microwave and I heated it in 5 second boost to dry off some of the water. I cool it, I pour it, I seed it, nothing. So I tried a different tactic, where instead of seeding, I just drove off the water to the point where it starts coming out and then I just let everything crash out of solution. Here are some of these recrystallizations done over 6 minutes. So what the end crystals look like they look pretty good if i do see so myself and uh you should you guys should try this out try, try the procedure it's i can't promise the recrystallization is going to be easy but once you get crystals it's going to be really satisfying and to me once you get the crystals then i don't know what goes on in the solution but it's, it's really easy to continuously crystallize after that so come on guys try it out it's gonna be it's gonna be great <laughs>